Woo, what's up guys? Forgive me if I don't look at you. I'm watching my step here. Check out this beautiful view. I'm here in this beautiful state of Washington. Snow Lake, just visited, we, I just hiked to Snow Lake Mountain or Snow Lake Lake. Polar plunge, we hiked up this mountain, seven miles down the mountain and we polar plunged and it was incredible, freezing cold water. And now we're making our way back. Went, just climbed up the mountain. Hey, Natalie, hey, Amy. Check out my view, guys, check out this view. Oh my God, are you kidding me right now? Check out that view, 10X in Washington. Just polar plunge. If you guys don't know what polar plunging means, that means finding a cold ass body of water. Sander, what's up, brother? A cold ass body of water and jumping on in. And what happens is a lot of amazing things, something called hunter's reflex. So that's when your body starts to think that you're in danger. Uh, it's a hormetic stressor, a stress to your hormones, uh, but it's an acute stress, so it's not dangerous unless you stay in there a long time. But what happens is your body starts to send blood flow all to your vital organs because, and away from your extremities because it doesn't care if you lose your toes and your fingers it cares if you lose your organs. So it sends blood to your vital organs and it kind of gives you this vascular massage and uh, so healthy for you. Boost of testosterone, boost of your immune system, boost of blood flow. Hey guys, hi. So it's, it's so important and uh, it's tough. It's a lot of mental toughness, but it's worth it. Who knows? Josephine, hi. Check out the view, check out the view. If you guys have never been to the state of Washington, definitely put on your bucket list. I was in Seattle this morning and then uh, Kirkland, Washington. Great coffee, great food. Now we're finishing this long hike, seven plus miles up this mountain, down this mountain. And we're so far removed from our ancestral patterns <laughs> Sanders says he gets some, the similar hunter's reflex when he gets his credit card bills. <laughs> the blood flow just goes away from your extremities into your organs. I don't think that's the same thing. That's more of a, a flight or, or, or fight um, stressor, my friend. Guys, check out this freaking view. Are you kidding me right now? If you like this view, give me some hearts. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at that. I gotta watch my, my trail here because one wrong move and uh, one move and I go down that way. I don't wanna go down that way. I got Ronald and Carla back there. Slow, they're too slow. But I was saying that we're so far removed from our ancestral roots. And don't get me wrong, I love technology, I love all that has come about from technology. Amazing, hey Anna, right? Isn't it beautiful? I'm in, um, I'm in Washington, I'm in uh, Snow Lake uh, Mountain. I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's like um, 20 minutes from Kirkland, Washington, about an hour from Seattle. So I'm headed to Spokane for a leadership conference and I stopped here hiking. Look at this view, oh my God, oh my God. Those are, that's snow. That's all snow right there. Are you kidding me? This is incredible. So we're so far removed from our ancestral roots that when we could kind of get back to that by going hiking or forest bathing, this is forest bathing, getting into the forest, breathing in, it's changing our microbiome for the better. Breathing it in, it smells like Christmas. <laughs> by the way, it smells like Christmas, it's beautiful. Jumping in a freaking cold, natural lake. Um, walking barefoot on sand, walking barefoot on grass. We could do this in your backyard, guys. Better than a postcard, right? Oh my God, totally, totally. But the more we could do this and, and kind of get back to those roots, I promise your body, mother nature, God, the universe, whatever you believe in, is going to reward you. Amazing things start happening when you sync your body and your hormones with mother nature. So what are some ways you can do that? Well, I just named, named a few, hiking, jumping in the water, doing some grounding. Also waking up 
when the sun comes up. We were designed to wake up when the sun comes up. Cortisol goes up, we're ready to go. But people are waking up three hours after, or they're waking up before to work out, which is counterintuitive. And then also going to bed two hours after the sun goes down. You know, that's also a natural design because certain hormonal patterns start happening. And when you follow those patterns, you're healthy, you're rewarded, your body is thriving. But when we're stuck on the computer all night and we're working on something, look at that. Oh my God. It's even amazing that I'm able to even Facebook live with you out here in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I love technology. I freaking love it. Like, are you, this is, this is insane. Have any of you been to Washington? I know Sander has been to Seattle, I believe. And uh, if you haven't, definitely make your way here. Definitely make your way here. But here's the thing. If somebody was unhealthy, right? And they had so much money, right? But they were unhealthy, they wouldn't be able to enjoy something like this because they wouldn't have the health to go through this trail, right? You need health to go through this kind of trail. Look at this path that I'm taking here. Seven plus miles I've been walking since, since uh, I don't even know what time it is. Um, since four o'clock my time, so three hours uh, behind, four o'clock our time, I've been hiking out here. And look at this trail, guys. Oh my God, Ron, Erica, Ben, what's up, guys? I'm out here in Washington. Beautiful. Beautiful. Say hi, guys. Hey! Woo! Woo! Almost there. Almost there. Look at this. I can't believe I'm able to Facebook a lot. This is really cool. So make it a priority to come to the state of Washington. There's many, many mountains like this. The thing about living in Florida, the thing about living in Florida is that Florida is beautiful because it's tropical, especially in Miami. <laughs> You're envious, Ron. It's so beautiful, but we don't get we don't get these mountains. I mean, just to drive on the highway, it's amazing because you're surrounded by mountains, and that's Florida's flat. And there's eight hours to get out of Florida, so it's um, it doesn't it doesn't compare. Erica says I've been to Seattle, not there, but beautiful. Oh, Snoqualmie Falls, yeah, this is this is close to it. Seattle's incredible, incredible place. Portland. I actually want to make a trip where I fly to Vancouver and then drive all the way down to San Diego, stopping at Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, uh, Los Angeles, Beverly Hills, and then make my way all the way down to San Diego. I'm going to do that trip maybe next year. Anybody want to come with me? Who, If that sounds good to you, give me some hearts. If you want to come with me, fly to Vancouver and then drive all the way down to San Diego, stopping at Seattle, Portland, San Francisco. Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, and then San Diego. Yeah, that's right. That's a fun trip. Maybe we could rent a bus or an RV and we could do some hiking together. That sounds incredible. I'll bring my dog, Ziggy. I saw dogs on this trail and it's really, really cool because these dogs, San Diego is gorgeous. Yes, Anna. Gotta watch my step here. There are dogs on this trail walking with their owners and they're not even on the leash. It's so incredible. They, it's instinctual. They know where to go. They're not going off the path. I love dogs. I miss my dog. That would be incredible, right, Ron? I know that it's probably nighttime in Miami. Look at these trees. Let's trip there. Look at these trees. Like, it doesn't do it justice. Look how high up. And this is going all the way down there. What are some of your top places that you've been to? I want to hear what what is what's been your favorite what's been your favorite city that you've been to? And then what's on your bucket list number 1? Hey Drew, what's been on what is your favorite city that you've been to already? And what is number 1 on your bucket list? What's the next city you want to go to that you've never been to? Those redwoods, man. Yes. Incredible. Got to make it back to the car before it gets dark. Are we going to make it? Good thing I have my iPhone flashlight. So where would you like, guys, where is the best, your favorite place you've been to? And then where is the next place you want to go to that's high on your bucket list that you've never been to? For me, my favorite place that I've been to right now, where I am right now, right here, right now. 
Um, I'm, com I'm lost. I'm trying to find the path. Beautiful. Uh, Benton, Pennsylvania this summer was beautiful. I've never been. I think it's this way. I hope it's this way. It's this way. The trees in Washington make Wisconsin Northwoods look tiny. Yeah. Miami doesn't even have any trees compared to Wisconsin or um, Washington. Erica, are you going to the... Are you going to the show? Hey, everybody. I don't know who those people are. They're, they're following me, guys, and I'm quite frankly, I'm scared of them. Are you going to the show in Milwaukee in um, September? It's the killer show, Erica? I might be going, thinking about it. Napa Valley? Yeah. What's the name, Carla, what's the name of that wine, uh, that, uh, that place around here, the, the vineyard? What is it? Woodenville. Woodenville. Have you heard of that, Sander? It might compare to Napa Valley, Woodenville. Bucket list, Alaska, to see the Northern Lights, wow. Then Will Willamont Valley in Oregon, wow. Oh, cool, Erica, I might go too, so maybe I'll see you there. I, I wanna go to Vancouver, I'm not even that far away, right? I could just drive there. But I would love to go to Vancouver, look at this view. Oh my God. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Kathy. Anna says, New Orleans by far my favorite. San Francisco is on my bucket list. I like New Orleans, yeah. I didn't like Bourbon Street, though. I got to be honest with you. Bourbon Street was not appealing to me. But I loved, uh, what was it, Magazine Street and the um, Frenchman Street. Right, Sander? We talked about that. Ron, Ron says, hiked a waterfall trail with my son this summer. Oh, that's really cool. That was in, ben in Benton? Sanders says, have not heard of Woodenville. Look it up for sure. Miami has a hill, Tropical Park. There's also that dumpster hill, right? By the highway, I forgot what it's called. Hey, Miami is beautiful in its own right. I think, I, I think Miami has one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. People come from all across the world just to go to the beach. The city that I was born in, Miami Beach, which I had the beach as my backyard. So I take it for granted. But this is a different kind of beauty. It's good to have the contrast. My goal is to have complete freedom over my life, finances and control over my schedule where I could have a summer place in here, in uh, somewhere like Washington, Portland, and travel from different places depending on the weather, the time of the year. I mean, what kind of a, isn't that an awesome goal? Frenchman Art Market was my favorite place to visit. Yeah, the talent, the musical talent there was incredible. This is fun because you guys are helping me get through this because I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty tired. Are you guys tired? No, not more. Just my legs hurt. You guys are pros. You're a pro. Are you walking and reading comments? You're ahead of us. 10Xer? I told, it's helping me get, get through this faster because I'm pretty damn tired. It doesn't seem any faster for us. Hey, Joaquin. Hey, Joaquin. <laughs> Jessica says, enjoy it. Nothing like the woods to clear your mind and center you. Yeah, totally. We just jumped in this freaking beautiful lake. I'm going to post some pictures of it later. I think I put some on my Instagram. I don't know if it uploaded. But it was amazing. Freezing water. My fingers went numb for like 30 minutes. This guy, Ronald, was went into that water face deep and just stayed in there. Totally impressive. I don't know how he did that either. What's up, Joaquin? I miss you, man. Miss the, miss the gym. I'll be back there. I come back, come back to Miami um, Monday night, and I will be at Live Free, hanging out this week. Woo! Look at this. Do you know this is considered moderate? This is considered moderate, like the the level. Yeah. Wow. Moderate. It's not moderate for a Miamian who doesn't yeah, hike. Ben, this is going to be an amazing last will and testament. <laughs> this is like mind over matter right here. Totally, but we're almost there. You said that two hours ago. <laughs> but we're almost there. <laughs> we're almost there. At least it's easier now because we're going downhill. We just went uphill twice. But it's getting dark. Who's not working out tomorrow? Who's not working out tomorrow? Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me. 
some bone broth. Oh, we went to this, we went to the Bulletproof Cafe in Seattle. It was freaking great. We had Bulletproof coffee. We had, um, we, we stood on what's called the Vibe Machine, which vibrates and uh, felt great. You can do it. <laughs> They're cheering us on. Yeah. Cheer us on because it's getting, <laughs> something went in my face. It's getting dark and, uh, and uh, yeah, if it's getting dark, we can't see where we're stepping. And there's a lot. There's a lot of rocks here. That's why I'm not looking at you guys too much. All right, guys. I'm gonna sign out here. Are you laughing at me because I had a bug hit my face? I want to give you one more vantage point before I hop up. Hop up hop off this Facebook Live. So I think I'm coming across a good view here. I wanna give you one more view before I get off of here. Heading to bed early in the AM. Good, Ron, I love that. Good night, brother. Keep crushing it, man. You're rocking it, you too, Sander. You guys are freaking rocking it in our health, in our group health coaching program. Love you too, bro. Thank you, Anna. All right, I'm gonna sign off because I don't think there's any vantage point. There's a whole bunch of trees. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you soon, okay?